We're gonna learn about how to make wine, how wine tastes, how to drink wine. I'm gonna share with you some beautiful wine facts. We're gonna get all up into wine business. This is 100 days, so we need to create a profile first. Insert winery name. What is like a classic Italian name? What's a good wine name? What about Oof E? Oof E it is. I uh, laughed hard at Oof E. Now we need to pick flower or a design that really epitomizes Oof E. Honestly, not hating that. Not hating that at all. Oof E Vineyard. When you're happy with your placement and ready to move on, click the button in the right corner to proceed to the next day. Drag cards, rotate tile. Oh. Oh, well this isn't fun. I'm at the boring company and it's pretty boring. I'm already close to quitting this boring company. And if I don't get to make some wine soon. Some activities have a special result. Press the flashing orange button to review. Okay. Oh, that's a, what a fancy letter. My dearest Emma, I doubt you remember me. My name is Beppe and I am an enologist. Winemaking has ruled my life as a tyrant, devouring any free time I had until I have reached the end of my journey, still chasing the perfect wine. There is a long list of winemakers who would be happy to inherit my lands, but this time I will rebel against what is logical or due. While we need to treasure our tradition, we also need to make room for innovative solutions, newcomers to fill our ranks. I want you to run my business and become a winemaker. It's not going to be easy, but I promise you, it will be worth it. Your vineyards await. Vineyards? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. This reminds me of the start of Stardew. Is this how Stardew Valley starts? I've never, I've never played Stardew Valley. <clears throat> Hi, my name's Anna and I'm your next door neighbor. Should I do? Hi, my name's Anna and I'm your next door neighbor. Anna's really annoying already. Howdy. Howdy, Teal. Hello, are you Teal? In short, death to the weeds, long live the vines. That's a bizarre way of putting it, but yeah, in a nutshell. Great, let's just pretend the weeds are my houseplants. It'll work like a charm. This looks like a very intense game, now that I'm clicking on things. Oh, wow. Okay, we're gonna wait to read about these wines until we're kind of making them. So I think that'll be a little bit better. Turn when you're happy, cool, okay. I think we can get rid of that. And I think we're good. That went well. Told you so. Exterminate. I am so good at this. Er, uh, yeah, let's proceed. Now you can learn the fine art of crop thinning. Basically, you will have to remove some of the flowers and or grape clusters on the grapevine. Wait, why would I ever do that? If you could just let me finish. Dang, Tio. Sorry, my bad. As I was saying, this procedure is used to achieve yield and quality goals, and it will allow you to modify the vine balance. A waste of resources that happens by design. Am I getting this right? You are! Tio, I'm trying, man. Your business has three different buildings that handle different sides of the wine production. Click to access them and handle their functionalities. Oh, here's our winery. In the cellar, you can find all the tools and rooms that you need to work on, such as tanks, barrels, or presses. Tools are the one required for most card activities, and they can get dirty or broken. In the tool shed, you can find all vineyards, machinery, and rooms to maintenance them. Some tractors and tools will decrease turn numbers for specific activities. Okay, that sounds really valuable. Warehouse is used to store bottles ready to sell. Here you can build new rooms to handle marketing. Warehouse level determines the amount of orders you can fulfill every turn. Okay. Okay. These grapes are looking mighty nice. 
Those are some nice looking grapes. That wasn't too bad, was it? Yeah, I guess I'm starting to get used to the gist of this new vineyard life. This new life in the vineyards. So now what? Harvest. Let's go. We need some help with that. Oh, there's no Harvest 101 with Tio this time? Dude, I've got some major sass in this game. Not this time. We can start harvesting together. But you'll need to hire an onologist to complete this task. It's the most complex and delicate activity you will ever perform in your vineyard. There's no room for mistake. Hey, thank you very much. No pressure, huh? You're gonna be fine. Relax. Just call Gianni. He is the best in the area. What a wine name. Like, you know someone named Gianni is gonna be... They like wine. They know their stuff about wine. Will do. Good. Let's get moving. All right. Gianni, where are... Oh my gosh. Gianni. You're late. Hi. It's so nice to meet you. Yeah, sorry, I ran into Anna on my way down here. You should really avoid any distractions. Winemaking is an activity that requires your undivided attention and commitment. I hear you've recently moved here from London, with no understanding nor interest in the winemaking business. So basically, you know nothing about this, don't you? Well, you don't mince words, huh? So Harvest, as you may have guessed, it's the process by which grapes are picked. You can do this by hand or mechanically. In this panel, you can see the harvest results. Now you can move to transform the grapes and select the tanks you would like to use. Cool. Quality? Good. Quantity? 6,714.2 pounds. That's a lot of grapes. Vinify grapes. Now before you start smashing grapes like a brute, let me be clear. This is a gentle process. We are just bursting the skin of the grapes to expose all the inner solids. Focus! We will apply pressure to the grapes to allow the juices free access to the yeast, tannist, and characteristics of the skin. Whoa, you really like to use fancy words, don't you? I'm condescending. This character is really condescending. Some activities require a larger board. You can increase the size of the board through the technology panel. Oh, where is that? Dude, there's so much dialogue. I want I want no more dialogue. <laughs> Wine log seller. Tech. Okay, we got board upgrade, tool shed, winery, warehouse. We got tech trees. Everyone loves a good tech tree. On the top. And the bottom. Because we can afford it. Let's put you up there. The amount of buds left on the vine will affect quality, quantity, and grapes' ripeness. Every vine variety has its favorite pruning method. So how's it going with the Gianni? Glad you asked me. I'm glad you- Oh, she's British! I forgot. I'm glad you asked, mate. How on earth did you think we could work together? <laughs> Ouch, he can be a bit. Blunt, I guess, but don't take it personally. Blunt? He's not blunt, just plain rude. I know that I need him in his knowledge, but he is way out of line sometimes. I'm so sorry. I can assure you that he is a good man. He is just used to mumbling on his own. Anything else I need to know to become Princess Pruner? Princess Pruner should know that vines can be trained with different styles of pruning techniques. Depending on the grape variety, certain pruning styles are more adequate than others. In a nutshell, less buds, better quality of wine. More buds, more quantity of wine. Gotcha. We're gonna try to build up our rep, okay? That's my thought process. So we're gonna make a high qual- We're gonna try to get high quality of wine, not the most high quality wine, but pretty high quality wine. Ooh, fermentation. Fermentation consumes sugar to create alcohol. You can select duration of yeast. Different yeasts can give different flavors to wine. Do you remember what we learned about crushing? Be gentle, burst the skin, release the sugary juice, expose them to the yeast. Well, fermentation is the next step. Yeast will now convert grape sugars into alcohol. <coughs> <coughs> wow, his voice hurts. Sugar meets yeast, and bam! Here is the wine. In this case, your optimal values should be tannin 2 out of 10, and sweetness 2 out of 10. Okay, um, fermentation duration. I'm just gonna leave it in there for a little bit. Oh, okay. 
pump over punch down. No tannis will be extracted from the skins. Few tannis will be extracted from the moderate tannis and a lot of tannis. Okay. Can I, can I change that? Can I, I can't change that. Okay. Barbera 2021. All right. If you press with a higher intensity, you will get a higher volume of must with a lower quality. Use the slider to select your desired intensity. Press intensity. Okay, I'm gonna keep it at two tannin because he said I need a two tannin thing. Oh, look, it's raining. So we have to stop. We can't work in the vineyard when it rains. Today, we will start bottling the wine. This is the final stage of the winemaking process. The moment of truth. Once the bottles are sealed, there is nothing more we can do. It's out of our control. Bottling. We're gonna put that there. Make sure you have enough space in the warehouse for your bottles. Remember that some type of closures can give faults to the wine. Ooh, create a new design. Al Albigia? Okay. That's one pound. Bordeaux. I like the Bordeaux. That's nice. That's a nice little shape. A Rhine. We name our first wine. What's what's something that really evokes a taste that is craved on every tongue? Something something classic. Stinky. Oh, label shape square. Long. I like tall. Let's go with tall. And confirm stinky. Let's get these boys weeding. Oh, that's so pleasing. This is a very pleasing game. Machinery is subject to wear and can get dirty or broken. Each piece of machinery can be cleaned and repaired by accessing the building it belongs to. The use of dirty machinery can affect the quality of wine. Hey girl, long time no sit. She's gotta be British, right? Hey girl. All my British people sound the same. I can't do a variety of British people. Hey, girl. Long time no see. How are you doing? Hi, Anna. I've been buried in work. Apologies for ghosting you the other day. Johnny hates it when I'm late. Anyway, we've just finished bottling our first wine. He seemed particularly concerned about this last phase. Let's hope everything goes smoothly. Oh, wow. That's great. Your very first bottle. You have to tell Satoshi. Satoshi? You don't know him? Girl, have you ever left the house? You should really go out sometime, you know? Johnny says, uh, I, I'm losing all sense of accents. I'm gonna have to stop the accents. Johnny says I have to focus and avoid any distractions. Satoshi is the owner of the wine bar in town. He's such a nice guy. Go there and tell him I've sent you and bring a bottle of your wine. He will want to taste it. Uh, hmm. We'll do that. The evaluation of the wine is expressed by a score. This value depends on the typicality of the wine and the quality of the grapes used. The flavors increase the score while faults decrease it. Okay. Hey, a 67 is not that bad. It needs more body, but we can do that. Hi, welcome to my wine bar. Do you have a reservation? Hello, not really. It was a last minute thing. My neighbor, Anna, told me to- Oh, so is it you? It's so nice to finally meet you. I know you have been studying hard, working hard, and fully committed to the cause, but how do I say this? This wine is actually good, all things considered. Deep color, full body, low tannis, well done. This is good, especially since it's your first wine. Anna was right. You do know what you're doing. Uh, Satoshi. Who is she? Emma, a newcomer to the area. She is working with Gianni and Tio in the very same vineyards that once belonged to the old man. So do you think her story could become one of your pieces? It's too early to say. I have to dig for more information, get to know her better, see if there is uh, more to her than me see eye. The fact that she is working with Gianni is captivating to me. Here we go again. 
Gianni, your own personal Moby Dick. One new order! Sell, I guess. Yeah. Hi, Emma. How are things? I want to be your client. I want to buy your wine. It's not much, I know, but it's all I can do at the moment. I'm happy to publicly support you. It's Toshi. Thank you. It's fine. One more thing. A friend of mine would like to interview you. His name is Carlo, and he is a wine journalist. Would that be okay with you? Hello, Emma. I'm Carlo. The journalist we spoke on the phone a few days ago, remember? Oh yeah, sure. Hi, nice to meet you, and thank you for your interest in my adventure. But Gianni did tell me that it wasn't the best idea to be interviewed so early in my career, if you want to call it like that. Gianni is old school. It doesn't surprise me, but I'm not interviewing you now. Today I just want to browse around, take a few photos to get a general understanding of how you run this place. You happy with that? The photos will be featured in the article. Sure, Tia will give you the tour. That's great. I normally just skip all dialogue. Okay. Oh, this is uh, Ember Calm Down. This is just. Uh, I, got, I got bored, guys. I'm sorry. We're, we're speed running now. Fermentation. Uh oh, stinky. Pruning. All right, we're gonna raise the quality of this wine. We're gonna prune most of the stuff off. Two new orders. I would. Fuck you. Hoping for better? Huh? What's your name? What's your name? How come I don't get to see my customer's name? What's our receding process? Huh? Press. Let's press it. Uh, I guess we'll just go there because I don't know how to increase the body. <laughs> Four new orders. Can I have a discount? People, you better stop asking for discounts or I'm going to lose it. Holy! That's good. Fermentation and aging can provide hints to the wine. The flavors increase the quality. What do we think? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit better. Yes, I know it needs more body, but I don't know how to do that, okay? Hello. Hello, Anna. You look radiant today. Anyways, I came here to get a second. Oh, <gasps> another letter. Ooh, the old man. My dearest Emma, if you're reading this, it means you haven't given up and that Gianni hasn't scared you off. Good job. I've always known you had it in you. More vineyards await you, Emma. Experiment. Learn. Nurture your new passion. Expand your lands. Till next time, Beppe. On the bright side, I can finally give you access to a bank deposit in your name. The old man set it up in advance so that you could buy the land next to this and expand your vineyards. See, so telling me this was all part of his plan. You also need to hire an agronomist. 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 Ag agro. And I took the liberty to contact a friend of mine. And I took the contact. I'm done. Uh, five new orders. No one wants 2022, huh? What about making that money, money, money? Oh. Filippo. You took your time. I'm here now. What's the emergency? You've interrupted my dinner with the consul, and you know how important it was for my business, yet here I am. Have you seen this article? It's outrageous. The article? I read many different newspapers in several languages on a daily basis. You'll need to be a bit more specific than that, Filippo. Which article in which newspaper? Your snappy attitude is obnoxious. No wonder you are on your second... Oh my gosh! It's a weekly column in the newspaper. It's in the local newspaper called Uncork the Drama. I beg to differ, it's actually one of my favorite reads. A few weeks ago, that column was devoted to a certain nobody, a young and inexperienced woman who inherited some lands and is now playing the role of a naive winemaker. Have you read that one? Clearly new to the business, but she's in determined to make her own. Yeah, pop off. I see, so he's back. It looks so, and you know what that means. Ooh, the plot thickens. 
Each grape variety is better suited for a type of soil. Check which vine suits the characteristic of your vineyard. The density of the plant has an impact on the quantity and quality of the grapes harvested. Subacid clay soils with an altitude of 400 meters. Chardonnay prefers a subacid sandy soil with an altitude of 300 meters. Southeast subacidic slope. Sandy! Let's go. Yeah, they don't like that. They like that. We're gonna do a decent quantity of Chardonnay. All right, we're gonna bottle our Barbera 2023. Oh wait, no, we wanna age it first. Tool needs barrels, then we're gonna buy some barrels. How do I buy barrels? I don't know how to buy barrels. Barrels, visit the shop to purchase. Shop, oval, cask, friend, ah, oh, okay. We are not going to age <laughs> this uh, set because that's a lot of money. All right, next. Give me a good name for a bottle of wine. Give me a good name. We're gonna up the cost of this one too. We're gonna go with Mouth of Daniel because I feel like that has a more classy ring to it. All right, we are losing money. You'd better be careful with our finances or we'll be forced to close. Oh no, we're running out of money. No money. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Even better than last time! Here we go again. Let me guess, you're panicking because of the newcomer, aren't you? It's unbelievable. She is worse than a weed. She is everywhere. Even where we thought that nothing could grow, she is expanding, increasing her sales and fame, and Johnny is helping her. Vinify grapes. Oh no. We only have one fiberglass tank, and I know we can't afford another. Pay attention. You need at least one tank available at the end of harvest. If you don't have one, you will not be able to produce wine. Can I, can I buy another one? Can I buy another tank? 2,000, yes I can. Cool. Next turn. I'm looking for, dude, what? Who is this, who is this hipster piece of shit? I only call him a piece of shit because he reminds me of a guy who has facial hair, wears button up shirts and has a tattoo on his right arm. Young and naive and resilient, that Emma. <coughs> I guess so. Good, that's my Emma. She is my protege, you see. <clears throat> and yes, you are in the right place. Wait a second. I am your... What? Since when? Oh, here you are. I was just describing your strongest traits to this gentleman, young and naive. But since you two have found each other, I'll go back to the winery. I heard you. Anyway, hi. Oh, see, they used to hate each other. It's a pleasure to meet Founder of... Uh, uh, said in that episode... Of, what you said in that episode resonated with me a lot. The Blue Marl... Oh great, how's it going? I cannot complain, the Blue Marl is mainly visited by university students looking for good or rare bottles of wine. And as these tend to be too expensive for their budget, they come in a small group and share a bottle. After listening to the podcast, I'm even more convinced that I want to sell your wines at Blue Marl. Are you sure my wines wouldn't li live up? Cool. All right, we're up for a new design. We need a new bottle design. A Bordeaux? A dark Bordeaux. I think a light would be better. We'll edit the label. What about the owl? Owls are cool. Let us name this beautiful, beautiful Chardonnay. We can do toe cheese. I like toe cheese. Big, actually, we're gonna go with big. Confirm. Emma, pardon moi for the impromptu visit, but this cannot wait. Do you have a minute? Gosh, yes, what's wrong? Have you seen this screenshot of it? Velvet Venue. It's, it's not new, and that's the point. She's a newbie queen of the fake it till you make it mantra. What the heck? Je suis désolé, Emma. Who wrote this? Who is this nasty? Totally uncalled for. Mean whiskey mail. Oh, man. Bunch of punks out here. Do this. Rate my Chardonnay, please. Not a good Chardonnay. I'm just making ends meet right now. Dude, this guy, humble wine bar. Until it caught fire, if you use flames, devour the place is spectacular. That's pretty bad, what happened next? Sure, I was living in Berlin, I'm in the last few bottles. Ooh. 
I'll ask Carlo about that story. Coming up. Oh, my man Satoshi. We're gonna we're gonna skip this. I can't. Oh, but when you had plenty of those when you were scolding me, you judged it, I rest my case. It's not something that I can ignore. You'll receive my resignation letter by tomorrow. It's been a pleasure working with you, Emma. No witty bantering today. Oh my gosh, this really escalated. Do you have a spare minute? I explained that the fire was an accident. I figured as much after they argued. Philippa was scared Gianni could end up working for Chris, so he started spreading gossip about his brother. Oh my gosh. What do you mean he has done worse than that? Now he is the leader of the consortium which he rules. He coordinates the Bottery's winery is back, but without Gianni's knowledge, the wine is mediocre to say the least. How do I find her? I gotta clear Gianni's name. They've accused him of being an arsonist, and that's not cool. Cause Gianni, Gianni was our, is our mentor. That's good. That's good. Oh, I had two orders. One of the best wines you've tasted, huh? Ah, that's that's nice to hear. Mouth of Daniel is perfect for me. Good. Check the health of your vineyards. A, vine, a vineyard with low health is more likely to get sick. The health of your vineyard is restored with, with maintenance uh, recovery. Yes, please. Please recover. Please. Jar, are you there? Yes, here I am. Hello, Emma. It's nice to finally meet you. Your spy game is strong. However, your neighbor on it, she talks too much. I would consider casting another person. Secret agent. I have some intel about Filippo, something that the consortium should know. Are you sure this place is safe? What kind of intel? Yes, relax. Filippo is abroad on a business trip and nobody else has the keys to this place. I think you should read this letter. It's not long. I'll give you a minute. Oh, this is Gianni's confession. Long overdue if you ask me. Oh, wait. Not at all. What? This is I need to sit down. I gather you've almost reached the end of the letter. Good. Spoilers ahead. Johnny is not the twisted fire starter you've always assumed he was. And Filippo should be thrown in jail for fraud. How about that for intel? Dude. I knew Filippo was evil. I knew it. I called it from the beginning with how evil his voice sounded. Dang, dude. This is poor Johnny. He's just been living with these allegations against him. Heat wave, drought has hit the vineyards. The quality of harvested grapes will be lower. Oh no! Frick, I can't even harvest anyways. Three new orders though. I like this label. Nice. You know what? I'll sell to you, dude. Actually, I, I won't do that. I need more money, sorry. Hi, Anna. What's the latest? You tell me you've been spreading town about Philippo's fraud. Jeez! Dude, Anna's a homie. I thought she was annoying at first, but she's just a homie. Read the last letter from the old man. But who knows? Okay, I think this is like, complete the story. Did we finish the game? A hundred days is the lifespan of a vine leaf. Silent witness of the ever repeat. <laughs> We finished the game! Well, okay. Hope you guys had a blast watching it. It was a blast making it. And we'll have some new content on Fridays and Mondays, so stay posted for that as well. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.